In this video I want to show you a brief overview of the top 10 plugins that I recommend you use in WordPress. Now what you can see on the screen is my dashboard when I log into WordPress and you can see a couple of things. Firstly up here you've got WordPress 2.6 is available please upgrade now. Um, I would recommend you don't update immediately when a new version is available just because uh, plugins sometimes take a little while to catch up and the plugins that you're using may not be compatible. So I would wait a couple of weeks and make sure that the plugins you're using are compatible with 2.6 before upgrading. The second thing you'll notice, if you haven't already done it, is your Akismet um, is almost ready. You need to enter a WordPress com API key. So just click on that link and you'll be asked here to enter your API key. You can get your key by clicking on this link here and you're taken to wordpress.com where you can um, create a profile here you go get a free WordPress account so once you've done that you will then be given a key um, to enter into your Akismet uh, plugin so you enter it in here and then click the automatically discard spam comments um, checkbox and then the update the options. This then will disappear and your Akismet will then be protecting your blog from unnecessary spam. So that's the first plugin I wanted to cover. Akismet is well worth installing. I think WordPress install comes with it automatically so you can just install the version that comes with WordPress or download the latest version from the Akismet website. Okay, here I am over on the plugin screen, and the second plugin I want to show you is the Lighter Menus plugin. Once it's activated, if you scroll to the top up here, you can see this menu here, drop down menu, has been inserted. That is what the Lighter Menu plugin does, rather than have the more complicated and slower menu system that default WordPress has. Uh, Lighter Menus then gives you access to all the commands with drop down menu and you'll see that some of these menus here have links to other plugins that you've enabled as well. You can um, edit the options for lighter menus but uh, I think you'll come to like that plugin. It makes using WordPress a lot quicker. Okay, The next plugin I want to show you is the XML sitemap XML Google sitemap. You'll see at the very top, if you haven't done anything with it yet, it says the sitemap wasn't built yet. Click here to build the first one. I don't recommend you do that until you've actually added some content. You can go down here and have a look at um, the options for this plugin. And then this change frequency. If you're going to be posting to your blog daily, then the home and you've got the home page set for as a normal blog so that new posts are um, automatically put onto the home page then you can leave that daily if your home page is a static home page that doesn't change all the time then perhaps you might want to change it to monthly and these are the static pages as well categories well if you're posting daily then your categories change um, more often than weekly so you need to have a look at these and set the change frequencies accordingly. So that's the Google sitemap. Once you've actually started adding content you can click there to build the sitemap for the first time. Now the next plugin I want to show you is the Tiny MCE Advanced. This is the uh, plugin that adds features, what you see is what you get editor in WordPress. These are the buttons that I've currently got selected for mine. Um, you can add drag and drop buttons from up here, replace them down here, and you can add these ones down here up to here if you wish. And then you just basically save your changes when you've finished. Um, there are some more options down the bottom there you can have a look at. Now, what this does is when you go to write a post or a page, you'll find that your editor has changed. Okay, now here is my editor. The buttons here are moved off 
the screen slightly just because I've got the um, the browser all crunched up. If I expand that slightly, you can see a little bit better. Here's my editor now. Um, you can click this button here, which basically adds in. Um, if you if you leave your highlight over there, it says show the show hide the kitchen sink. That shows and hides some of the buttons for you. So that will give you access to um, a lot of formatting options and you can format in here. You might like this option here, this full screen mode. You can change your editor into a full screen editor. So that's what the Tiny MCE Advanced plugin does and I, th I think you'll like that one as well. The next plugin is the Ultimate Google Analytics plugin. Now this one allows you to enter your Google Anal Analytics account ID um, you can get that account ID from the JavaScript that your Google Analytics account gives you that you insert into your pages and um, you can set up this plugin to send data back to your Google Analytics account so you can see who's coming to your blog and how they're getting to your blog and so on. Now, the next plugin I want to highlight here is the automatic upgrade. You can find it on the manage menu at the top. What this basically will do is it will upgrade your WordPress to the latest version and it does it fairly automatic. Um, along the way it will ask you to back up your database, um, download the backups and then it will go and download the latest version of WordPress and it will automatically upgrade everything for you. I've used it on a number of sites, I've never had a problem. The, f the templates and everything that I'm using are highly customizable in, uh, highly customized in many uh, respects but this works flawlessly and preserves my templates without any problems so this is a great one and to get started with that you use these links down the bottom down here. The next plugin I want to show you is the Headspace one. If you go over to the settings Headspace you'll find lots and lots of settings that you can set here. Um, again you're going to need to read the manual to see what they all do but most of those can be left um, at their default settings. What I'd like to show you though is what this adds to your um, WordPress environment. Here you are on the right post or it, if you use the right page um, link as well. Down here look you've got paste for a page title and a page description. These are two things that um, are normally missing from your WordPress posts but you can put a page title and a page description that would be written into the post um, and that's good information to have on every page that you create. There are more options there if you need them look at the help file but when you're entering posts now I highly recommend you put in a page title and a page description because these are important SEO considerations. Now the next plugin I want to show you is the AdSense and Yahoo Publisher Network plugin. This will allow you to put easily put AdSense and Yahoo ads onto your website, onto your blog. Um, there is information you need to fill in here Again, you need to to read the manual, the instructions on on how to use this plugin. But configure it here, and then you'll be all set, ready to put in um, advertising on your blog if you want to. Now, the last plugin I want to mention here is the WordPress DB Manager. You'll see here you've got a, a menu item called Database, and this allows you to back up, um, optimize, repair. And pretty much everything else, um, your database. So it's database health. You should get used to backing up regularly. Uh, blogs do get hacked into, sometimes corrupted, and so keeping a regular database backup is a very, very good idea. In particular, I recommend you have a look at the DB Options page because at the bottom of that, you've got various options here that you can um, fill in, but at the bottom of that, you can schedule automatic backups of the database. When you post a new article to your blog, the add this um, code automatically adds this logo, this button at the bottom of your blog posts so that people can um, bookmark and share your post with other people. It's a very good idea, it gives people an easy way to dig your page, for example. So I do recommend the Add This 